hi welcome to another video um, over the past few videos you have been diligently watching seeing what is happening here all right we're now at the stage where we have completed our floor plan and we're now moving on to the other portions of the SBA so now for today we're going to be looking at the foundation plan we're going to be completing the floor brick foundation plan one of the easiest plan to complete all right so this is the plan that we're working on today now the first thing that we're going to be doing here on the foundation plan is to add our stiffeners all right now you might be wondering we're going to go through that entire process again that we did on the floor plan that we did over here no what are we going to be doing there's many things that we could do we could go through and we can do the tedious process of going through here and selecting all of these um, stiffeners all right and then we move them over or copy them over but here's what we're going to be doing we're going to be turning off all the layers that we that are present on our floor plan so for example our windows layer it's windows layer where is it turn that off windows got disappeared text layer text disappear all right what else the wall wall disappears door door disappear fixtures all of that disappear dimensions dimension disappear so that's our current layer saying that we're turning it off yes you're turning it off nonetheless all right that that will leave us with our stiffeners all right so what are we going to do let's select all of these here and i hope this does work copy cp enter and let's grab onto the corner here then what are we going to do we're going to turn on our phone or floor or wall layer that is and we're going to be copying these to our um, plan right here as you can see so now we can now go through and turn on all those layer that we have turned off a while ago so turning on our current layer turning on the doors turning on the text turning on the windows turning on our fixtures turning on everything back all right so i believe that's everything and now we have our stiffeners on this side here was that so difficult no it wasn't all right so now we're going to be adding the foundation padding all right so currently these are the walls all right and if he does do building and furniture technology you would know about the foundation pad all right so we're doing a strip pad well a strip foundation here all right how are we going to add this on our drawing we're going to select our drawing here well we don't have to select it we just need to activate our offset command and then we're going to be entering the distance 150 why are we entering 150 that's because that's the thickness of the wall now the pad of the foundation in most cases and this is we're just talking about should i say this um i don't want to mix up the terminologies but think about that this foundation pad is always going to be three times the size of whatever object it's supporting so for example if it's a wall and the wall is say 100 right the thickness of the pad is going to be um 300 if the wall is um 200 the thickness of the pad is going to or the width of the wall is going to be and the width of the wall is going to be 600 all right so it's always going to be three times the size of whatever it's supporting if it's a column and the column is um one feet it means that you know the, the the width of the pad that supports the column is going to be um um say 300 all right so once you have activated the offset command and you have entered the 150 you can start by selecting the outer line and then offsetting it outwards once I've done so, I'm going to just going to place this on my foundation layer. I think I have one here. So I'm going to foundation wall. Yep, that is it. I realize that it has turned in detail. The reason for this is because I'm sure enough of you can see your foundation once the house is built. It is on the ground. So it means that it is an hidden feature. And it's the reason why we're putting it in hidden detail line. All right. So the same thing that we did on the outside, we're going to do it on the inside because currently the pad is just two times the size of the um, wall here so it needs to be three 
So we are currently at one, two, so we need three. So what are we going to do? We're going to offset the inner line inwards. So once you have offset the inner line inward, let me just match the property, MA, enter, click on the um, line that I want to copy the property from, then click on the line that I want to apply the property to, and then it will change it. So now we have one, two, three. It is now three times the size of the wall, so that is good. So let's now move on to all the others, and we're going to be offsetting those as well. So O, enter, um, I'll enter the 150, and let's go through and do those offsetting. All right. Now this is why I say this is one of the easiest um, thing to do on the SBA. Um, All right. One of the easiest. All right. All right. So I believe this is the last one here. All right, so once that is done, let's go. Let's match some properties. So we're clicking on this, then applying it to all the inner lines. Let's go. Here we go. So I believe that is all of them. So we have bedroom one, bedroom two, back porch, kitchen, dining area, passage area, bedroom, bathroom one, master bedroom, master bathroom, um, living veranda. All right, all of those in place. No, this is that is why it is. Believe it or not, we're almost finished now. The only thing that is left for us to do here is to add our dimensions. All right, and some minor labels. But we're just going to add the dimension and then that is pretty much it. All right. At least at the CXC level. All right. And even if you're submitting a plan, if once you dimension it and it's dimensioned properly, stiffness are in, the only thing that you need to do is do some tags. All right. And you'll be good. Add the tags for the stiffness, saying what they are, things like that. Um, some other callouts and that's it. All right. So let's add the dimensions here. Now. Similar to what we did in the previous video, going to our annotation tab, um, let me go to my dimension layer. Annotation tab, annotation tab, linear dimension, and the dimension that we're capturing is actually the, the width of the pad. The pad itself, we don't care about the wall, so the pad. So for example, from this in detail line to this one inside here, using dynamic tracking again, as I said, this is just my preference. Spacing. I'm using 600 all right then you click on continue and then you capture all those um, all these here basically the in detail and that's what your focus is on all right and for the foundation there is just two layers of dimension the one that is capturing the thickness or the width of the foundation pads and the overall dimension as you can see here just like that that's finished you know that is finished believe it or not next side so from here to here let's go 600 and let's continue dimensioning so from here i don't want the lines crossing and i'm continuing down So as you can see, it's no big, no big deal. All right. So let's continue. So this is large, a large, pretty much a large plan. So you get the feel to understand that um, smaller drawings will take a lot less time. You could probably complete an entire SBA in two hours um, with a small drawing. All right. So here, um, that side is completed. Now doing the other side. Continue. And we're capturing here. 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 
here all right continuing down just capturing those look at where the dimensions are capturing the width of the pad that's the in detail line there so we have here and we have here and we have here then we capture overall dimension so from here all the way down to here so they know how, how wide are how the dimensions for their um, profile board all right next we're doing this side here so we're going from this um, here to here to ensure that all is well all right and again this is just my preference i just like to have the dimensions on the outside um, other draftsmen will do theirs differently this is just my preference all right and then the final which is over here all right and then the overall dimension so from over here all the way to the far end here all right so again the same treatment if there is a dimension that can't be captured from the outside you have to capture it on the inside such as the passage here let's do the passage and the width of the um the bathroom there all right so all of that there other dimensions can uh, were captured from the outside all right now if you want to take this to another step you can do some call outs so for example um, depending on how you want to do it um, um, you could do something like this maybe like this and you create a little selection box around one of the stiffness for example that stiffener there um, and then you use your leader line here click on that and you type the description um, and you could say C um, T um, stiffener um, detail all right something like that and then you'll go through let me add something here then you'll go through and these are labels um, and you'll go through and add these to um, the, the specific, um, what do you call it? Stiffeners. All right, so for example, that one there, let me copy it. I'm just going to change the title. So for example, this one here, I stiffener. Um, let's go here, L stiffener. And all I'm doing is changing the letter here, L, and then I. All right, so something like that. All right, other things you could do to it, but this is it. Believe it or not, your foundation plan is completed. You know, your foundation plan is completed, and this video will be called "How to Produce." a foundation plan from a simple floor plan layout all right um, again the file will be linked in the description down below check it out um, as well as the drawing template um, file all right so you can add it to your autocad to use all right everything's already set up um, like share subscribe and i'll see you in the next um, video